Terror strikes an Omaha neighborhood as bullets hit at least three houses near 47th and 4th this afternoon. No reports of any injuries or suspects, but it's a scene that's all too familiar. Police have responded to shots fired more than a dozen times in the past two nights. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Gunfire injured at least 11 people, including five hurt in just four hours overnight. It's violence community leaders are desperately trying to stop. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kelly Bartnick met with Omaha 360 leaders today and joins us with the latest on their efforts. Kelly? Jenny, we're learning that all these shootings may be connected as retaliatory gunfire from a shooting earlier this week at 72nd and military that sent one man critical to the hospital. Now, that gun violence is overshadowing Harmony efforts this week. There is no admission fee for this group at Exarban Cinema Wednesday, where Omaha 360's goals are splashed on the silver screen. As summer sweeps in, the crime statistics organizers share are already outdated. It's, it's particularly disheartening at, at, at this time when we're mourning the loss of Officer Roseco and officers are already pretty stressed out and tired. Northeast Police Precinct Commander Scott Gray began Wednesday with a call to action. It's one almost every person in this room has heard before. It has not always resonated with people who know their neighbors are up to no good. People need to take more responsibility for what's going on in their neighborhood, not be afraid to call the police or contact contact a, a pastor or somebody that they trust and pass along information through. Captain Gray's plea comes on the heels of the high profile death of Officer Carrie Orozco last week and the past two days, a rash of retaliatory gang shootings connected to this 72nd and military incident Monday afternoon. Police say the critically injured victim was targeted as he put air in his tires. If you know people that's actually doing something, you actually actually go, have to go talk to those people and to convince them uh, to do something opposite uh, what they're currently doing. William King's idea is just one solution to the issue, which brought a long conversation Wednesday. In the midst of Harmony Week, Omaha 360 is fine-tuning its goals to revive dropping gun crime rates, which have slowed in recent years. We see it as a neighborhood-based approach that we need to take, um, looking at almost a navigation type of approach and model where we're going right to the families that need us the most. It's taken nine years to get this far. As the conversation continues, so does their quest for Harmony. Oh, Omaha 360 meets every Wednesday. Their meetings are public for anyone to attend. Now, several events also make up Harmony Week this week through Omaha 360. We have a link with that on KMTV.com. Reporting live tonight, Kelly Bartnick, KMTV Action 3 News.